That ain't too bad for 37, family. You see the depth from my back to my chest? All that's upper body strength. All that. Yeah, I feel good, family. You feel me? 37 years old. 37 cycles around the sun, family. You feel me? Peace and blessings to the kings and queens. Black power. Salute to the gods and the goddesses of the planet Earth, of the universe. You know what I'm saying? We hear this Black News 720. It's your brother. And I just wanted to do a quick little vlog to pretty much show my appreciation to the people to the supporters, to the family, to everybody who believe in what I'm doing, who supporting what I'm doing. And if you don't, then I guess it's like Biggie say, if you don't know, then you know. Or eventually, you'll have to find out. But anyway, like I said, it's black news. It's a new time. It's a new era. It's a new day. So, grand rising to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wanted to talk about Life pathway, life pathway numbers, all right? I wanted to talk about the presidential election campaign. So, so far, if you all know, I already didn't let y'all know what I'm saying as far as black news and my, my influence in the community and my personal experience, I've only voted one time, and that was for Barack Obama, all right? Because I did believe in him, and I believed in change at the time, and it seemed like it was change, you know? If this is the United States of America, you know, even though they divided the 13 colonies, and then we got all these different racial groups, and they say that we all working together, but the country started out with people who look like me and people who look like my siblings uh, as slaves and laborers and property. And so America was founded off the labor, off the hard work, and off the backs of blacks, of African Americans. And I mean, I guess you can vote for whoever you want to vote for, but in my opinion, there's no really, there's no really good candidates, not like that to me. But anyway, if you want to vote for the orange man, he already told you, he grabbed women by their vagina without any answer. So if you vote for him, that's these, that's these volumes, you know what I'm saying, uh, of you. And Kamala Harris, to me, she's kind of like, I don't know, she kind of got like an Uncle Tom vibe. Like, she does whatever to, to please the mainstream power structure. And so we know that she was a prosecutor, a DA, and that she had a high, very high prosecution rate. And a lot of her, um, her cases were simply like marijuana cases. And so she is an individual who plays ball. You like to play, you know, keep the mainstream senses going. So I don't know. Y'all vote for who y'all want to vote for. But, um, yeah, I appreciate y'all for showing the love. I feel good. I'm 37. I could be fat, out of shape. You know what I'm saying? But naturally... I'm blessed, I feel good, I have still have aspirations and things that I want to do, things that I'm working on to improve myself, to make myself a better version. And sometimes I know I might come off a little intense, but I'm a good soul and I have good intention. And there's no one who has ever been involved with me who I'm haunting them or haunting their lives or bringing any type of misfortune upon their lives. You know what I'm saying? I'm a pretty independent type of guy, and uh, my my whole thing has always to, uh, you know, become someone, become something, like, have a dream, have a vision, have a passion, not necessarily just being out here in the world and just, you know, small talk and casually come, coming across random individuals who you don't know what their intentions is, what they own, they're not being honest with their beliefs. With you know where they want to go in life and how they present themselves. A lot of people wear masks, and so for me, it's hard for me to meet somebody that I just met and believe that that representation is a hundred percent accurate. Because there's just so much deception in the world, family. It's crazy. But anyway, new rising. By the way, I own the rights to the music. It's playing in the background. Anybody know me? I dealt with rap 
um, you know, production beats and all that. Cause I love music sounds. You feel me? It's light, light. It's form of data information, and it influences how you feel. So sometimes when you don't, when I don't have uh, individuals that I feel comfortable talking to, then I might make a beat. I want to hear the sounds, the harmony of the music, the, the melody, the rhythm. And for me, you know, that's like a conversation. And it feels very therapeutic. And you don't have to force it. It's just natural. And so, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So love and light ain't going to hold y'all too long. I got a long day ahead of me, family. A lot of things I got to handle. I just wanted to come before the people and just tell them that I thank you. I love you for your support. I appreciate it. And... Just keep liking, keep loving, keep sharing. You feel me? And uh, make sure you hit up the Cash App. You want to show show support for for I'm Miss Natura and Black News 720. I'm Division EDU. Make a small donation to I'm Miss Natura 360 LLC at CashApp.com. That's dollar sign O M N I S N A T U R A 360 LLC. And like I said, when you root for me, you root for black families. You root for happiness. You root for children. You root for intelligence. You root for, you know, the re rediscovery of, you know, of, 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 of humanity and civilization. And, and, you know, and hopefully I inspire a lot of other brothers with my life pathway, with what I'm doing with me and my personal situation. If you love your kids and you're a family type person, no one deserves to take that away from you. You know what I'm saying? I believe just like the sun being the sun and the moon being the moon, regardless if you know about it or not, it is what it is. It doesn't change what it does. It doesn't change the attributes of it. It's you that's ignoring something that's existing naturally and you have no knowledge of what it is or what it does because you're in your small Universe, and we know that even with an ecosystem, there's living organisms. Is you, and then you go up to then there's an environment. So it's you, the organism, and then there's the environment that's around you. So you got to be in tune with self, but also be in tune with everything that's around you. Because if not, you won't survive. It's about the organism and its ability to adapt to its surroundings. All right, and so we in a we in a universal co collective coexistence. And, um, you know, I'm in tune with myself. I'm not in competition with no other teacher, with no other man, no matter what they got going on. You feel me? I know myself. I spend a lot of time uh, meditating and just in deep thought about, you know, the universe and life and the meaning of relationships and just going back in, in, in time and trying to make this the most sense out of, out of everything. And so... Just wanted to come before the people and shine the light. Again, I am life pathway number two, a helper, a healer, very strong, very powerful. And even though I am all of those things, you know, I feel like I'm, a, you know, I can help. I can, I can, you know, make a difference in the world. That's a positive one. So outside of myself, I know there's other individuals with talents, with gifts. To spend time with yourself, you know, um, you know, get isolated. When, when Moses went to the mountain and he received the laws, according to the biblical text, where was it? He was isolated. He wasn't around everybody. He had to go to a place where he could hear those small, subtle vibrations and energies. All right. The spirit world is a separate dimension from the physical reality. And for you to perceive the information that's going on in that reality. You have to tone everything down, quiet everything down so you can hear, so you can listen. And so I do this a lot, family. Like I said, you got preachers, pastors, scamming, taking people money. You know, like I said, three collection plates and one one church sermon. And these people got kids. These people got families. And so, like I said, brother polite, yada, you know what I'm saying? The black conscious community, they out here scamming. I had a sister to try to scam me this morning with a reading. Asking me for all like personal information that's not even necessary for a reading. And so anyway, family, it's hard to find truth. It's hard to find purity. It's, it's hard to find good people. And so, like I said, this is a place where we can come, where we can build together. All right. So love and light.
to the family, to the peoples. Like I said, I'm 37 years old. I feel good. I look good. And um, I'm just funny about individuals being around me being insincere or unsincere. I guess I'm a little hypersensitive when it comes to energies because I'm a spiritualist. And so I can sense small, very subtle energies. I feel telekinetic. Like I can read other people's thoughts and minds based on how they're reacting to what you're doing, what you're saying, and how they move around. The decisions, like I said, that they make. My baby mama, she's a horrible decision maker. You'll ruin your own life and you'll ruin the others' lives around you. Like I said, my thing, because I advocate for child abuse and the protection of children because I experienced that when I was younger regardless of what you think when you see me I was a child once I was vulnerable and I, I was not protected okay but I love my children and I believe in the golden rule and treating others how you would want to be treated not just treating others based on how you were treated because that's not my pattern that's not what I do I just I want umoju I want the unity you know what I'm saying? It's a Swahili word for unity. And that's what makes me happy. My grandfather, uh, uh, George Woodfall, he was a Libra. My birthday just passed. I'm a Libra as well. And me and my mother was chopping it up the other day. And she was just saying how much of a family-oriented man he really was. He did care about family. You can't fake this stuff, family. Some people get jealous over your morality. Some people get jealous over your intellectual capabilities. Some people get jealous that they got to work out and you don't. Some people get jealous that you can just step out and then people want to know who you are and you're actually uh, an anti-social like social type of person. But when you step out in the world, family, people naturally want to just know who you are, what you are, what you got going on. It's, it seems like it's something about you that's interesting. But you anti, you don't even let people in. And so that's kind of how it is for me on some, you know, on some level, you know, from my experiences. It's just when I, you know, when I think about letting somebody in family, a lot of the time they just prove, they prove me right. You feel me? You see a beautiful sister and you be like, that sister is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You're gorgeous. And of course, man giving a compliments, you know, if the sister is really beautiful, if she's really gorgeous. But it's like, you might not be getting those compliments from a certain type of individual. Yeah, you get compliments, but don't bunch everybody up in the same bracket. Because you never know who that soul might be. You never know what connections y'all could have. And so, like I said, seeing women that's beautiful on the outside, but they're not beautiful on the inside, that ruins it for me, family. Too much ego, too much making it about yourself, too much self-centeredness. Those are all of the things that results in broken families and tragedies and misfortunes, you know, devastation, traumas happening to people because there's a self-centered person that doesn't understand team. They don't understand unit and they don't care to understand. And so I had to learn that, too. Sometimes when you're making sense, when you're talking logic, everything is adding up, but the individual may not listen because they don't give a damn. They don't care. And so that's called ignorance, to ignore, you know, what is true, what is real. And so you have people in their own small universes disassociated from the collective universe. And so life in existence is beautiful. And I'm glad to be here. And I look at it like the sun and the moon. The universe designed me. The universe brought me here. You feel me? 1987, family doing the harmonic convergence when all of the planets in our solar system were in a straight line. It's called a harmonic convergence. And I believe it's a special time where certain type of souls came to this planet. And I just believe I'm an old soul. And I have a life mission that's a little bit different, you know, than some of the other souls. All right. And so just find your life mission. Find your purpose. Stop competing. And, um, you know, grow yourself. Focus on yourself. That's what it's about, family. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Making yourself better. That's what it's about.
Anytime you got to block somebody else, they let you know you a block or you a cop block. That means you can't even, you don't even got nothing to offer. All your time and energy is going into blocking somebody else. But when you got that Curry, when you got that Kobe, that Kobe clutch, you know what I'm saying? You can't stop me, I'm a score. I guarantee you. When I played basketball, that was my favorite thing to, to outmaneuver the, the opponent. I guarantee you I'm going to outmaneuver you. But if you on my team, I ain't got to outmaneuver you. I'm going to just pass you the ball. Just make sure you pass me the ball. Make sure we acting like it's a team. But yeah, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Got people trying to be me, trying to act like me, trying to do spells, curses, and paying people for spiritual work. I never went to another person and paid them for spiritual uh, counseling or guidance. I'm very spiritual. So I have dreams, visions, deja vu all the time. So. Love and light to the family. I can see it. Peace and blessings. Salute to the gods. Yeah. I'm too good. I'm too good to waste my time on things that serve no purpose. And so if you feel some type of way about me, it's probably, it's probably, you know what I'm saying, got something to do with you and what you got going on in your life. And so when I meet somebody new, one of the main things I need to know is their resume. I'm looking not just for your beauty, but I'm looking for your resume. So I can tell your decision making, how you think, how you feel as far as putting yourself first or putting others, having the ability to put others um, above you or equal to you. And in a lot of relationships, family, it's not people that's equal. People are looking for, people are looking for an advantage. People are looking for puppets, like somebody they can string along, somebody they can play with, somebody they can manipulate. And the thing with me is like, long as I'm, I love you, long as I, you know what I'm saying, I see your soul, and I'm, and I'm, I, you know, it's a beauty, you know what I'm saying, to it. There's an appeal to you, you know, that's beyond just your physical beauty, because you can be physically beautiful, and just be a nasty soul. And so anyway, I'm focusing more on the spiritual and to read and to know who and what I'm dealing with. And so it's nothing wrong with that family. Good brother, Omnis, the nature God, the God of, of balance, the God of, of judgment. All right. And the God of even more balance. Libra, Scorpio, Libra again, Libra son, Scorpio son. Libra moon. All right. And my life purpose is just to bring justice and balance to the universe. My life pathway number is two. Like I said, I'm a helper, a healer. My master number is 11. So it's not just a regular number. It's actually a, a, a number of self mastery, mysticism, uh, you know, master spiritualism. And um, I'm supposed to be doing something to help change the world, family. And so y'all help me to do that by sharing, by liking, by loving. And uh, let's make the world a better place one build at a time, all right? So love and light to the family. I'm going to hold y'all all day. Peace and blessings. I share to the kings and to the queens. All right? Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.